For those of you that have the Trumpeter or Toro 1 16th scale U.S. Army half track, it is a pretty good model and well detailed. However, there can be a problem, and the problem is breakage. If we look at the suspension on the tracks, we can see that there is no spring-loaded suspension like there is on many of the RC tanks. This does not give way, it's fairly rigid, and the problem is that these links to the bogies, one here and one here, and then the same on the opposite side, has a weak point, and that weak point is where this screw thread goes all the way through this piece right here. That part is cast of a white metal which is very fragile and as you can see with the hole going through it leaves very little area on both sides of that hole whether it be anything structurally secure is that there are no replacement parts available for this until now. If we go to shapeways.com and we'll put a link below you can see the sets that are available to replace those links. The part for the front has this little hex head bolt simulated on the top of the link. Otherwise the links are pretty much the same. I've also boosted the thickness in the back So this is made out of a pretty tough nylon. And as you can see, I've added what's called a little boss, a little raised area in the middle here that also adds material to that fragile part. So now we have much more material and a tougher material. The first step you have after you get these parts from Shapeways is to UV cure them. That doesn't sound as bad as it is. I left mine in the plastic bag that it came in. Put a clamp on it and sat outside in the sunlight for a little way time. Probably about anywhere from five or six hours or so. Halfway in between, turning them over on the other side to get the UV light to finish the curing process. The purpose of the clamp is just to prevent the wind from blowing the packet away. The next step will be to break these off the sprue, which you can see is on the back, and they'll easily snap off, or if you need to, you can take a little hobby knife and slice right through that support right there. There are enough links on here to do one complete half track. It requires one, two, and the other side, three, four, and then the outside and the inside. So we have four of each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough to do this half track, and we have some spare links on here. The next step after we cure this is to clean this up with a little simple green solution, simple green mixed with water, and dipped in it and brushed to get in any of the nooks and crannies all the way around to get rid of any uncured material. We'll run some fresh water over the pieces and clean it off thoroughly. Then we're ready for painting and followed by assembly. All right, we've got the two pieces painted up and we just need to remove the, the sprue off the back side of these. And before I continue with that, I'm going to come back to the half track here. I noticed that the mud flaps were broken off the back of the half track and they were held on by a very small glue area and apparently two locating pins that were molded into the flaps that went into holes in the back of the half track so what I did is I took some ABS 3D printed a piece a quarter of an inch longer now you can use scrap styrene for this if you want uh, whatever you want I just happened to use ABS, painted it black, and gave it some green paint here. 
and that'll give me a lot more surface area and you'll see the glue area on this one was from here up and this one the glue area will be from about there up so about three times the glue area just come back here cut down any protrusions there might be and then put the mud flap in there like that we're going to take the wheel axles and press them in to one of the links And it doesn't matter whether it's the front one or the back one, it's just when we assemble it, we'll put it together the right way. Okay, we got the two axles in. And we'll put a double-ended threaded shaft in. Two wheel sets. The opposite link. And replace the nuts on the double threaded shaft. Being careful not to tighten them down too much. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of thread lock on the end of the nut. Do that on each side. And now we have that part of the bogey assembled. And then we're just going to reinstall that back into the half track. Put our screws back in. And there we go, we have that part done. Get the tracks back on. And there we go. Adorable. And what's nice about it, if one of the others should break, we've got a lot of spares. So now we have our repaired half track. This is the repaired bogey. Flaps are in place. And it's time for the crew to get in. get back to war.